What's good, y'all? I'm back with another video. This video is going to be on Trina. Okay, so let's get into it and see um what her energy is, what she got going on at the present time. Um, and you know, pull some energy, whether that's past, present, or future energy. Okay, spirit, please come through and show me the energy of Trina. What is the energy of Trina? Please show me the energy of China. This perfect time. What is China's energy? Please come to. All right, we got Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so I see Ace of Pentacles. This is showing me. Okay, so this is showing me like a, a new beginning. Okay, for her. She got a new beginning coming in, is what I'm seeing at this present time. Whether that be a new beginning at uh, love, uh, this new beginning in her career, you know, um, going up in her uh, status, going up a level in her career. Um, this is also dealing with money. Okay. So I'm getting the energy of if things wasn't progressing for her before in the past as we speak right now she has this new financial um opportunity that came in for her new um it could be a new business opportunity investments okay um abundance or her manifesting you feel what i'm saying whether that be in whether that be the right way or the wrong way well that's what i'm getting new beginning we have the tower okay chaos destruction trauma unexpected change disaster tragedy lost okay so didn't we um did she just lose one of her family members and we got the number 16 on here okay so whoever she was most definitely young could be the ages 16 17 18 or 19 of some sort okay so that's this devastating news that that's all over the world right okay spirit please come through yeah, we got heartbreak, betrayal, okay, um, grieving or grief, confusion. So a lot of people are basically feeling heartbroken at this present time, grieving over um this young girl's death. Okay, um, another thing is people are like in solitude. A lot of people are going through depression. You feel what I'm saying? Things of that nature. And I'm also hearing she has been through a lot of bad breakups or a uh, bad relationship she always end up with the short end of the stick um i also do get that she is a very depressed person but she hides it she tries to hide it is the energy that i'm picking up on she has not released her pain her anger her sorrows and the things that she's done in her past and she needs to most definitely try to overcome depression okay it's the energy i'm picking up on and forgiveness mainly forgive herself for that for whatever she has put herself through okay that could also mean looking at these three of swords a lot of unsuccessful breakups and a lot of unsuccessful a lot of unsuccessful relationships breakups okay um just failed attempts at love, okay, or even life. We have manipulation, cunning, trickery, wasted talent, and illusion and deception. Okay, remember I was just saying if she got this new opportunity in a bad or good way. Spirit, thank you for coming through. So this is showing me that she had to stab somebody in the heart or in the back that was closest to her that she loved so dearly. Okay, cold-blooded, blood sacrifice, just to get financial gain or this financial beginning that's what spirit is showing me right now okay and we have manipulation so she uh has wasted talent meaning you mean to tell me after all these years of you being in the industry that you don't got your name out there like that you still don't have nothing to show for it okay so that's what i'm getting and it's also some deception behind um this person that has passed on closest to her is the energy I'm picking up.
All right. That's exactly what I'm getting at. She is the cause of her own stagnation. I'm hearing she's a very negative person. She's very depressed. She projects. She always, she, I do get the energy that she feel like people are beneath her. She does feel like she should be up there with other celebrities like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj. Um, who else? Summer Walker. I do feel like she, she thinks she should be up there, even with different female rappers. But she has wasted talent. It's like she's in the industry for no reason, okay? Her songs was okay back then, okay? But how many people are checking for her? And it's like, you have so much talent, but where is it going? What did you do to get here? What did you do to deceive people to get here to where you're going or where you at now? Okay, we got uh, Four of Cups focusing on the negative. Depression, boredom, okay, and refusing offers. She's in regret about what she has done. The fact that she's caused this own tower moment in her life. Okay, and stirred up all this chaos and things of that nature. Um, she's in regret about the missed opportunities that she has caused herself. And she, like I said, is the cause of her own stagnation. Okay, that's exactly what I'm getting. Maybe if she changed the way she think and treat others, she wouldn't be going through whatever it is that she's going through. She would possibly be something bigger than what she is if she didn't um, walk around as if she's some type of gift from the Most High God, okay? Or the baddest bitch, so she say. We have five of pentacles, okay? Improvement in finances, luck, end of hardship, and positive change. So I get the energy of after not having much and being left in the cold when it comes to her money and finances and her uh, career. Now she has lucked up, okay? And it says improving in finances. All right, so she's happy about this financial gain that she got. Okay, and she is an art. Know that, okay? Just know that. I'm also hearing um she could she may even be an Eastern star as well. You just never know. All right, so we got conflict, fighting, arguments, um, disagreements, struggle, opposition. She has a very bad temper, okay? So when it comes to speaking to others, her mouth is ridiculous. She don't give a fuck what she say. She thinks somebody owes her something. When something doesn't go, go her way, she starts to act out like a child or get pissed the fuck off. Is the energy I'm picking up on. I'm also hearing, and I'm going to come back to this five of wands. When I was looking at this four of cups um, card, I feel like there were other opportunities given to her and she turned them down. I'm guessing because they wasn't big enough is the energy I'm picking up on. And she was too focused on negativity. And I'm saying this for a reason, because like I said, fame versus, I mean, fame and fortune. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? And sacrifice. So to stay relevant, to stay at the top, you got to pay the price. You got to pay the motherfuckers who in charge, who in power. All right, you got to do certain shit to stay relevant. You can't sit here and be chilling thinking you're going to just say, fuck it, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to work. No, the industry going to work you like a bitch, especially when you're not even relevant like that. You have to do things to stay out here or put your name out here because you ain't really got shit going. So you're going to take this opportunity or whatever money that they give you. Straight like that. I'm also hearing she could be a sex symbol for the industry as well. But anywho, we got um I don't know if she has some conflict with family members. Okay, but as of now, there's some 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 shit going on, okay, some opposition, some aggression. And things of that nature when it comes to uh, her family members and money. 
Okay, maybe someone is fighting over someone's will or money that was left behind for someone. Or maybe motherfuckers is fighting over her her money, her income. Maybe she got motherfuckers that she got to provide for too. Who the fuck knows? Okay, I'm also hearing there could have been beef with a company or record label, whether that's past, present, or future energy is also what I'm hearing. Spirit, please come through and show me. New beginnings. All right. Okay, so that's that new beginning. Coming in. Let's see what else we get. Now she got multiple choices. Lots of options to choose from possible multiple possibilities um and things of that nature and didn't if i'm not mistaken keep the streets then she get um some keys to the city okay so she got some keys to the city you feel what i'm saying so what did she have to do okay like i said i do feel like she was a sex uh symbol to the industry I most definitely um get that. Um, another thing I would like to put out there is why well, I say she was a sex symbol because she had to sleep or slept with a lot of rapper rappers and athletes and much more. Okay, she's a sex symbol to the industry. She slept with a lot of people to get to where she is. That's why she got the keys to the city. On top of whatever else she does behind closed doors. Look at her album covers. They tell, uh, listen to her lyrics. Okay, you know, she be beefing with certain people like that beef that she had with Kaya. Feel what I'm saying? Over not doing a versus battle with her. Okay, so this is Trina reading. My bad, I had to hurt my video off for a second. I had something to do. Okay, let's get back into it. So I'm gonna find out. Um I was talking about her getting into it with random people like Kaya, but I'm gonna go back for a second. When it comes to five of pentacles, um the reason why Trina was so bitter, miserable, and angry, rejecting, going back and forth with motherfuckers is because she is broke. She's not. Cut that TV down some. Matter of fact, close your door till I'm finished. Close your door. But anyway, the reason why she act the way she do is because she broke. She was not or is not financially secure or financially where she wants to be especially when it comes to finances and her career, okay, whatever it is that she, else that she has going on. Um, another thing I was going to talk about was the five of wands while I was out here. That could be her, um, like I said, going back and forth from motherfuckers because she ain't got much of shit, being broke or struggling, and her going back and forth with people like Kaya, People on reality TV and the internet and things of that nature, okay? Um, going get into it with Kaya because Kaya don't want to do a versus battle with her, things of that nature. Like, you got to grow the fuck up. Ain't no need for all the extra shit. And the reason why Kaya, I mean, the reason why Trina was mad was because she needed the money. So, of course, I'm going to throw it out there like, bro, let's go and do this versus battle. Obviously, um, Kaya must not be hurting for much or not hurting or ain't broke or ain't struggling. Whether she got new music or old music. I just heard one of Kaya's new songs. It was straight. I ain't heard nothing from during the, during the sense way back when. Take it to the house and old shit. That shit was old. Like, I was young, young. There has been no career since. Okay, um, what else I was finna say? So now she got all these opportunities and doors that's gonna open up for her. But um, her career has been over. This is why she got so much time on her hands to go back and forth with motherfuckers on the internet. Like Kaya, reality TV, cast, getting to it with public, in public places like Walmart, 
You feel what I'm saying? Get humiliated in public or make a fool out of her damn self because she's not really getting a bag, okay? If her money was looking good, she wouldn't be doing all this extra shit. You ain't got time to be arguing with somebody and go back and forth with somebody if you're getting in your bag unless you got to simply check motherfuckers. But other than that, who checking for you? Okay, so I'm confused. All right, but her money was looking funny. And now she got the key to the streets, okay? Or should I say the key to the city? All right, but I do feel like because she wasn't reaching the level of success that she wanted to in the industry, okay, um, she started to project and lost her ambition and her willpower. Okay, she didn't know which way to go, which direction to go in. And she starts to begin to uh, project and be aggressive and impatient and overreact and be dramatic and be selfish and all this extra shit. You feel what I'm saying? Acting out of her lower self. Okay, losing herself and losing her self-control. All right, that's exactly what I'm getting. Okay, so... um. Like I was telling y'all, her career and shit, that shit's been over. Her career been over and done with, okay? All right, so let's see what we get. Let me pull this up a little bit so y'all can see. Look, oh, I don't know how good my light needs, but that's as good as it's going to get. Damn circle sitting right there. I hope y'all can see. All right, long as you can hear the message, it shouldn't matter. Well, we got forcefulness, lack of direction, lack of self-control, powerlessness, and aggression. I feel like when it comes to the whoever is over her record label, whoever runs her, or whatever the case may be, that she was feeling powerless when it came to people of power or people over her. Okay, that's exactly what I'm getting. The people who were over her caused her to lose herself and self-control and lack of direction. Because he who has control over the mind has control over the money, your uh, health, and everything else. Okay? We got the chariot. All right, so we got the chariot that comes out. Okay, we're going to put that right over the five of wands. Okay, then we got... Knight of Swords that comes out, right? So we got Knight of Swords, big changes, opportunities, something coming in quick. This is also mental activity, okay? Someone who is honest and direct. Um, I get the energy of she can be very talkative, uh, very impatient, impulsive, rebellious, and uh, a daredevil, okay? But also can be intelligent. If she used um, what she got in the right in the right way, it's the energy I'm picking up on. Okay, so that's exactly what I'm getting. Like she won't have missed opportunities if she, um, you know what I'm saying. Get her mental health and her 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 mind or change the renewal of her mind. Like I was telling y'all before. She, if she do that, things will start to come in for her. Okay. But we know once you get in the industry and you get a bag, it's over. Like, you start to switch up. That's that's what they do. You get in the industry and motherfuckers just start to switch up on you. And that be it. Straight like that. That's it and that's all. No questions asked. All right, Spirit, please come through. What is the energy of... Trina, what is Trina's energy, bro? Spirit, please show me Trina's energy. All right, she is uh, still, she's in grieving. Grieving. She is going through change that is unwelcome. Welcome. That, of course, she calls on herself, but this is not the change that she wanted. But hey, she doing what she got to do to get what she wants. That's exactly what I'm hearing, okay? We got she's sad and despair. Uh, feeling abandoned. She's in regret. She's going through a, a trauma. She still needs some healing. Maybe she had, she's had a bad upbringing or a rough uh, upbringing when she, as she, when she was a child and things of that nature. Okay. Um, and she just, you know, I feel like she's still mourning and she has a, uh, she got a lot of heartbreak and heartache and pain. 
she's grieving, she's depressed, she's going through a lot mentally, physically, and emotionally is what I'm getting, okay? She's in regret or could be in her emotions about losing someone. This person is in this long black coat, okay? This is also showing me somebody being dark and sinister as well, all right? But yeah, that's exactly what I'm getting, losing someone, grieving over someone. But you did this so you can have these uh, opportunities and options to choose from, right? Money, drugs, material, okay, the big house, the lavish lifestyle, ain't you the baddest bitch? So, I mean, what's the tears for? I mean, didn't you know what you were getting in back then or, did, or didn't you know? Okay, because I don't know because... uh. That body count kind of high. All right. We got soulmate. So, oh, wow. <laughs> Ain't that something? She had to choose between a lover or someone, her family member, her own blood. She didn't choose her, her little boyfriend or her husband or whoever the fuck she fucking or whatever. But I'm getting the energy of making a decision, facing your fears and being torn between two late relationships, divided loyalty. So she had to come up with some type of decision to decide who she was going to sacrifice, who was going to be the sacrificial lamb, who's next, so she can advance in her career. Okay? That's exactly what I'm getting. But eventually her conscience is going to kick in and a lot of the shit that she holding on to, she's not going to be able to hold on to it too much longer. Um, that's exactly what I'm getting. Period. And she got some enemies out there. Okay. So she do got some enemies um, that's out there that she needs to be um, aware of. Possibly. Okay. Or, um, yeah, some people that dislike her or it's her not liking a lot of people. She's created all these enemies herself. What did I tell you? She had to do what she had to do to get this what? Independent wealth, right? Did she want to be that independent, successful lady who is financially secure, abundant? Don't she want to be wealthy? Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Then don't she want that 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 uh title? You feel what I'm saying? That high status uh woman, okay, business woman or whatever she would like to call herself. Spirit, please come through and show me the energy of Trina. Spirit, please come through and show me the energy of dream. Okay, we got the emperor in reverse. Someone who abusing their power. Stubborn as fuck. Okay, lacks control. All right, and de something dealing with paternity issues. Okay, so I'm guessing there's an older guy who, um, she looks to for advice or whoever this energy is, they abuse their power. They're a tall energy. Okay. Got gray hair. All right. Um, maybe this energy could uh, help her not advance in her career, but kind of bring her out. I'm getting trick dating energy. I don't know why I'm getting his energy, but his energy is out here. That's exactly what I'm getting. We got page of ones. Good news. Whether it be a letter, phone, call, okay, but either way it goes, it's swift. Word of mouth, okay, and that's what I'm getting, y'all. So the good news is that new beginning. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, that advancement, that new business opportunity, that new clothing line, that new perfume. <laughs> Who the fuck knows, okay? I do get the energy of her being very confidently, con overly confident, okay? Um, has a lot of unrealistic expectations. She does want to conceive. Maybe she's too old to conceive. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but I get the energy of there could be some fertility problems. I'm also getting she's very conceited and... There was a miscarriage or she could have tried to have a child or there was some stillbirth. But, you know, she just needs to change the way she view herself and view other people. It's time for a mental health check is the energy that I'm picking up on. 
That's exactly what I'm getting. Okay, let's see what else we can spirit. Please come. Damn, I need to get to get the hell that whole field. All right, we got um in reverse. Um insecurity. Okay, lack of confidence, lack of growth, overbearing tendencies, okay, and infertility. Okay, so she may appear very confident on the outside, but on the inside, she is insecure as fuck. All right, Spirit, please come through and show me something else. That I mean, show me whatever else that I need to know about Trina. Okay, we got um, deception. Okay, um, instability. She has a lot of fear and anxiety. We got misconception again. Okay, dreams and intuition. Okay, so she can be deceptive at times is the energy I'm picking up on. That's exactly what I'm getting. And her biggest fear could have been the fact of her uh, being a failure. Okay, not being able to achieve her dreams and things of that nature. This is also gossip. Okay, maybe motherfuckers could be conversing. Um about her or she could be conversing about motherfuckers but there could be some mess or something going the fuck on all right um we also have unhappy family all right and leaving home or canceled reunion okay um i get the energy of whatever plans that she had made um, from jump, they ended or got postponed due to her fam having a family emergency, okay? The death in her family is the energy I'm picking up on, all right? Maybe there was supposed to be a birthday, some type of wedding, gathering, uh, some type of wedding, um, family reunion, coming home, celebration, some type of party. To where somebody was going to party to show their appreciation for success. success. So I get the energy of whoever that person was who passed on. They was about to go on to life to be great. And she killed it. She ended it. She, it's all due to what she has done to be in the position that she's in now. Okay. That's exactly what I'm getting. She got this new... Uh, beginning okay um she made some foolish and careless fucking mistakes she will be traveling adventures eventually um i do get at a time there can be times where she is immature is the energy i'm picking up on okay she was never stable she's the type of energy that when something don't feel right she don't like something she just pretty much pack up and go Okay, I'm hearing going from one place, from pillow to pillow, post to post, is the energy I'm picking up on. She's young, I'm hearing young, wild, and free. I can't make it up. Okay, that's exactly what I'm getting. Um, she's trying to also pull herself together and get through uh, what she has done to cause this family chaos, conflict, and confusion and turmoil. We have the number 13, death. Okay. Why I see three six, <laughs> 16 on the tower card and 13 on this card, three and six. That's crazy, okay? But anywho, we got the death card, meaning that was a physical death. Okay, more than one person that was gone that had to leave um, so she can move on with life, okay? And constantly um, get her money, okay? And try and be successful okay so like i said more than one person got took out due to her trying to be successful and she still has nothing out that many don't even know about we got manipulation okay so she had to do some black magic some evil shit okay give up motherfuckers she care about manipulate them you feel what i'm saying trick them and deceive them because her talent is trash is wasted Okay, which is bogus as fuck. So she had to do what she had to do. 
just to get just to gain success this is all about money fame fortune and sacrifice that's that's all a motherfucker is worried about in the industry bro it's at this point everybody got the same agenda you might as well say we got the hierarchy okay so this is um traditional um institutions commitments beliefs marriage and things of that nature um I do feel like, like I was telling y'all, she could have had to sacrifice her boyfriend or whoever she is presently with, but she chose someone else closest to her. Maybe she said next time. That's possibly why the high art for now here, if she's married, okay? That's exactly what I'm getting. I'm going to roll with it. Then we got the devil sitting right here, big and motherfucking strong. The number fucking 15 with the devil on this bitch. Okay. So <clears throat> we got addictions. She is very depressed. She needs a mental health check. Okay. She does have mental health issues. Could be PTSD, anxiety, depression. She might be, uh, bipolar ain't no telling she got a lot of hidden secrets a lot of agenda i mean a hidden agenda um obsessions um she has cheated or people have cheated on her she has dependency issues very materialistic okay um battling with her sexuality so she is into men and women as i look at this devil card um i'm also hearing she has been abused washed up used and abused is what i'm hearing okay she can be violent or um someone was violent toward her i'm also hearing like i this hire from me someone is abusing their power as well when i see that like someone over her like her being committed to this like she knew what she signed up for okay Addiction it could be to sex, it could be drugs, a substance, liquor, um, addiction to being famous. Um, anything can be an addiction, materialistic or whatever the case may be. But this is also showing me that she sold out. She sold her soul to the devil, Satan himself. I told y'all, damn, all the cards move the fuck over. I guess it's the fucking truth. But I told y'all um, that uh, she could be um, an Eastern star, okay? That is a possibility. She could possibly be an Eastern star. Who the fuck knows, okay? The way this world is going, the way things are set up, you just never know what type of time a motherfucker on, okay? That's all, like, bruh. <laughs> You don't know who got a hidden agenda, who out for you. You can't trust nothing, bro. I'm telling you, you, you really can't. Okay? Just be fucking, be careful. Yeah, somebody promised her this King of Pentacles energy. Somebody promised um, Trina. This camera quality fucking sucks ass. Somebody promised Trina um, security. There was possibly a man who did this, who put on, okay? Remember I was saying key to the city, key to the streets and shit like that, okay? But you got to do this, this, and this to stay at the top. But anywho, whoever this King of Pentacles is, they gave her, um, they have status. Um, they got a lot of financial security or stability. Um, and... They're very successful. Whoever this energy is, they are very successful men. So, like I said, whoever this energy is, is the one who opened these doors for her. There could, it could be another rapper. Okay, it can be, who you just never know. But anywho, I'm going to continue to read my cards. We got um anxiety. Okay, this lighting sucks, bro. We got um anxiety, okay. So anxiety, um, I told y'all she has obviously a mental illness. It wouldn't be right here. And when you take motherfuckers out just for your own, uh, for your selfish gain, just to be selfish 
for your you, you ain't helping nobody else. It's just for you. You you gotta have something mentally wrong with you. You gotta be mentally thrown off. Okay, but anyway, she got um she possibly suffering insomnia or the type of energy who never sleeps due to the things that she has done to get to where she is. Okay, um I do feel like she's at her breaking point, but she's still gonna try to figure out how to get through life because she in regret and guilt for the shit that she's done, okay? And feeling remorseful all of a sudden. Okay, she does have a problem with um trying to figure out how to cope with life or face life. Um, she's overwhelmed. She's stressed the fuck out. She is deeply unhappy and she is a negative person. But guess what? She is being tormented. Okay? Spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, sexually, she's being tormented for the shit that she's done. Everything that she's done, she's going to face it every day of her life when she wakes up. Them thoughts, actions, whatever she's done and said, it's going. that's what she's going to have to face every day, period. And when you dancing with the devil, you see evil spirits. Spirits come and fuck with you at night, and they're not of good spirits either, okay? They're not the type of spirits you want kicking in, in your room with the bobos and invite them type of spirits in, okay? Those aren't good spirits, so that's, that's not good at all, all right? But what's what's uh fucked up is and what bothers me the most or just gets to me the most is the fact that um you sold that contract with the devil or sold out to the devil as we know <clears throat> and it's just crazy that you you didn't sacrifice to uh three people all right not one, not two, Trina, okay? But three. Like, what the fuck they do that at? at okay? Your, you, well, who was it? Your mama? Okay, the mama gone, the bro gone, and the niece gone. And they was shot and murdered, and if I'm not mistaken, they weren't murdered too far from each other. Okay? Even though the shootings was different time frames. That is not no motherfucking coincidence. That was some shit set up and orchestrated. Okay? Straight like that. Like, what in the fuck? And the reason why she's so depressed, why she got so much anxiety and um, shit like that is because she's still grieving over loved ones that passed on. That she sacrificed. These are due to her fucking own decisions that she has made. Don't try to cry with spilled milk now. Okay? She focused on how much she lost and not gained. Because she ain't gaining shit. And still losing. Okay? So if a new fucking TV show, new music, new album, new hairline, new fucking nail line, line clothing line, lash line, movie. Anything come up, you already know what type of town we on, straight like that. Okay, and then let's um get into Trina's body count, okay? Trina body count is high as fuck. Let's just say, okay, it gotta be at least 20 to 30 plus niggas that she has slept with. Okay. Whether they athletes, rappers. Or just a regular ass nigga. Who the fuck knows. But um, she has slept with. And. We don't know. Exactly how many. Women she slept with. Because from what I'm looking at. She is into both sexes. Okay. She had, it's, has sexuality issues on it. Okay. That's exactly what I'm getting. And if I'm not mistaken. Did she sleep with Missy Elliott. Okay, that's just one woman though that I know of or that I can think of. But you got to pay attention to these hidden messages in these songs. Pay attention to these hand symbols, the clothing that they be wearing, the chains on their necks, chains on their fucking ankles, on their wrists, handcuffs, fucking chain, just 
all this shit, when it comes to women, is MK Ultra Control. Okay. For example, Queen Nigel. I have to do a reading on Queen Nigel, okay? And break down how she, how you can clearly see that she sold out. That goes right along with this. Okay. Queen Nigel is a sex symbol, a sex kitten, okay? Um, used for the industry as well, just like Megan, Javon, Ruth, Pete. That's a transgender. Okay. If you just flip things backwards, you'll start to understand and overstand things are not what they appear to be. But anyway, um, I do feel like, you know, there could be some MK Ultra Control when it comes to Trina. Okay. Um, if you see leopard, cheetah, zebra, print, butterflies, different animals and shit like that, just know that this it ties into this. Okay. Um, checkerboard pattern, that's Masons, Eastern Star, that's that's for the women. Masons, Freemasons for the men. Okay, but I do feel like a motherfucker is under heavy MK Ultra Control. Period. Okay, there is some programming, bro. Straight like that. All right, and the the motherfuckers who gotta go through this shit and worry about this is um your friends, your best friends. Okay, your cousins, your aunties, your uncles, your grandmas, um wives and and your fiancés and your partners. Like everybody needs to know and be aware at uh aware at all times on what they looking at. And what they are letting their child watch or allowing their child to see and hear. Okay. And we need to think about like certain shit that we can do to try and change the game up. Switch some shit up and figure some shit out. Because this shit is ridiculous. Okay. It don't make no motherfucking sense. And then another thing. Um... Trick, I seen him in a lot of pictures throwing up the uh six to buy for me. I seen him doing that shit in quite a few pictures, bro. And that's crazy as fuck. Okay. But she had to sleep with a lot of motherfuckers to get to where she at in this industry. Ain't no telling if she had to have threesomes, get pissed on, uh urinated, I mean, um, feces, motherfucker had to shit on the motherfucker. Uh, what other shit do they do? Drinking blood, eating babies. You feel what I'm saying? Didn't wasn't it be was it Beyonce? Was the one who sits up here and she she burnt the? Did she say she 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 ripped the pages out the Bible, and then she put her period blood on there, or some shit like that? Okay, those are rituals and shit. You have to understand and understand, bro. And you also have to want to yearn for this type of knowledge, okay? It ain't going to just come to you. If this is what you want, spirit is going to show you exactly all the shit that I be fucking seeing because it's ridiculous. And there's a lot of people sleep, okay, walking around like lost sheep, lost souls. A lot of people that's unaware of exactly what the fuck is going on, okay? But like I said, this ain't shit but straight fucking mind control, bro. And it's sad, okay? Just to get rich, get fame, get the material, get the sex, get the men, get the husband, get the kids, get the house, the videos, stay relevant, you die. So you get rich. So y'all all doing the same thing in the industry. It's a never-ending cycle. The same old pattern. Nobody's getting it. Y'all do the same shit, everybody that come in the industry. And then you get rich, sacrifice somebody, and you die. Or you get rich, somebody sacrifice you, and you die. It's a never-ending cycle. You're just you're just born to die. Okay? You sitting up here, you think you're living your fucking best life. And at the end, they finna take your ass out. What, what was the... You can't get your soul back. So what was the purpose of you giving your soul up? Just for worldly things, okay? Or to please the flesh. Is it really that deep? Where you got to take motherfuckers out that you claim that you really love and care about and sacrifice unborn kids and... um, It's it's ridiculous the shit that people go through in the industry. Being bisexual, 
having orgies, sleeping with more than more than one person. Okay, getting a train ringing on you, raping people, the fuck, making porn, porn videos or just sexual videos in general, demon time, the fuck, like what kind of shit y'all got going on? Okay, the shit with Jay Z and Beyonce, with that artist that he that I had put on my channel where the lady was putting animal blood on the wall on how to kill yourself and she's writing in blood. It's come on now. It's just it's too much demonic shit going on for me out here, bro. This is why you see me and then you won't see me. Because I gotta most definitely protect my energy. Because um motherfuckers out here losing their fucking mind. And it's getting worse the the day by day. The more I wake up and see that I'm still alive, okay, and a walking soul and vessel. I'm just sitting here like, damn, this shit is just, it's getting worse and worse by, by the day. But like I said, three sacrifices, okay. Um, Trina has been with quite a few motherfuckers in the industry. Um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna uh, go down the list real quick, give me one second. Trick Daddy is the first person on my list. Rick Ross. I know she slept with Trick Daddy. I know she slept with Rick Ross. I think she slept with Trick Daddy's brother. Okay. Um, T.I. was one person. Some what, what was the basketball player name? Allen. Allen Iverson. She slept with him. Shaq was another motherfucker. Uh, Corey Miller. Jay Z, Trina slept with Jay Z. Uh, she slept with who else? What? Kelly Rowland. Wow, that shit crazy. I thought uh, <laughs> I knew for for certain it was Missy Elliott. Okay, let me write Kelly Rowland down real quick. Kelly Rowland, I knew Missy Elliott. Missy Elliott uh, was supposed to be one. Okay, let me see. Um, who else we got? Rosie Baker. I don't even know who that is, y'all. I'm gonna keep going though. Um, we have Michael Wahlberg, Jamie Foxx. God damn, Young Buck. Okay. We got um Des Bryant. Damn. The Brat. What in the fuck? <laughs> so she slept with the Brat too. So uh, shit, I can't make it up. I'm looking as it's the reading over with y'all. I'm I'm still just doing a little research, you know. Still seeing what else I can get out this reading. Um Tory Lanes, um, Big Mill. Oh Lord. Kenyon, Kenyon Martin, I think he plays basketball or sports or something. French Montana. Um, who else? French Montana. Let's see. What's buddy name? Uh, Benzino, Coil Ray Daddy. We got, I think I said Kenyon Martin already, if I'm not mistaken. Demetrius Lenori, I don't know who that is. Okay, James Harden. Okay, and the list goes on. Tigger from um shit, I forgot the damn damn show. But Tigger, y'all know who Tigger is. He played on who was Rap City. But like I said, the list go on. And on and motherfucker on. Let's see what else we get, y'all, before I close this read. We had 37 minutes and 22 seconds. Spirit, please come through. Please show me whatever it is that we didn't cover in this training read. Okay. Spirit, oh, wow. We got the star that's in reverse. Hopelessness, despair, focusing on negative, lack of faith, lack of inspiration, lack of creativity, and bored. Okay, so even with you sacrificing these people 
her spirit is always going to feel tormented. She's going, her soul is going to always feel dark because she's a dark person. And this is the commitment that she has made. So she'll never feel at peace with the things that she's done. This is why she's bored. She can't create. She can't focus on music if she wanted to write a fucking song. Her creative side is not going to come out. She's not going to get any downloads. Your soul was soul. What you going to get out of that with pure darkness? This is why she's going to continue to project, be angry, be impatient, talk her shit, be evil, feel like she the baddest bitch and walk around like people are beneath her. And even with this, keys to the streets, whatever offering they going to give her, she's still not going to shine as bright as she thinks she is. Straight like that. Okay, the star in reverse. Bad business deal. Wow. Making a bad investment. <laughs> you, it's too late now. You can sign your name on that dotted line. Bad investment is laying right over the devil, y'all. I can't make this shit up. Bad investment, bad business deal, financial management. Okay. Not finishing what you start. Mm. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. She's getting abused by somebody in a, a higher position than her, whether that be a lover, a spouse, or the elites or people in authority, people that we can't see. Okay. We got someone who is very rude, forceful, bully. Nasty, abusive, and impulsive. So remember, I was telling y'all it could be a lover of, of of some sort. She's getting abused by somebody, and it's crazy. I said that, flip my deck in half, and guess what I got? I got the motherfucking lovers in reverse and Knight of Pentacles upright. Lovers in reverse, bro. Okay, so she could be having some marital issues or some type of conflict or disconnection when it comes to her relationship. At the present time, or relationships in general. Okay, we got Knight of Pentacles. Um, somebody is going to come in slow. Okay, but stubborn, very defensive, loyal, and responsible. Okay, routine. So I'm getting the energy of she's tired of the same old, same old when it comes to this relationship. This ain't working out. It seems like everything that Trina is going to try to touch is not going to manifest. It's not going to turn into gold due to what she has done. You don't do evil and think good is going to continue to happen to you. Eventually, that evil is going to come back to you in due times. Due time, whether that's five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. Okay, just when she thinks she is jumping and booming for her, everything is going to end. Okay, that's exactly what I'm getting. All right, period. She's feeling trapped, backed into a corner. Okay, victimized, paralyzed by fear, feeling pressure, okay, hopeless, helpless, powerless, and silence, okay, in isolation. That's what I'm getting. In isolation, okay, because you don't hear too much about her. She ain't got nothing going on for herself, okay? So I'm guessing there's going to be some type of new commitment or new love coming in for her. Because we got the lovers in reverse, and then we got two of cups. Harmony, balance, attraction, connection, some type of engagement, marriage proposal. Well, this is telling me that somebody in the past, she left the fuck alone, possibly, who wasn't her soulmate. Maybe she could have found somebody who actually wants to be with her and she's married, but still not happy. Okay, I'm getting the energy of whoever she was placed with. That's not who, whoever she was with. That's not who she chose to be with. Okay, the industry possibly could have placed her with this energy. Okay, and this energy could be bisexual okay i don't know but um we got marriage right here though could she be feeling trapped in this marriage or this relationship that she's in all right okay and this is just also showing me like an engagement whether that's past present or future energy okay but i do feel like she's a very stubborn person it's hard to compromise with her and it's like once her mind is made up it's my it's made up <laughs> excuse me as i did that <laughs> we got choice and two paths hmm ain't that some planting grass is always growing on the other side we got the will of fortune misfortune gonna be coming in and bad luck gonna come toward her due to the things that she's done because 
Um, she is allowing unwelcome change to come in due to her actions and the things that she's done. She's going to have major setbacks and delays, okay, eventually. That's exactly what I'm getting. That's crazy as hell. All right. We got money, so I think she's forced to do something. So I'm getting the energy of, I'll give you this, but you have to give me this in exchange for this. Okay, or um, I want sex, all right, type shit, or I need some money. Well, you got to give me some head type shit. Okay, that may not be this conversation, but um, that's exactly what I'm getting. All right, I'm also hearing charity events. Maybe she gives. Okay, or invest in something or is trying to invest in something or she does donate or maybe she does give back to her community or try to assist others is the energy I'm picking up on. Okay. That's exactly what I'm getting. We got overindulging, gossiping and bitchiness and lack of social life. Okay, so we have three of cups in reverse. She could be an alcoholic. Maybe she drinks to get over her past trauma or whatever that she has been through. We got judgment. I'm not answering. We got judgment. Okay. Judgment. Okay. Ace of Swords. New ideas. New plans. Um, intellectual ability. Success, mental clarity, clear thinking, breakthroughs, and ability to concentrate. Realizing the truth, okay? So somebody or a group of people, whether that's people closest to her or outside of her, is going to find out the truth about what really happened to these people who are dying around her that's closest to her. People are going to start putting two and two together. And everybody who's connected to her is going to receive judgment as a whole. It's the energy I'm picking up on. Okay? And it's not going to be good judgment. <laughs> Straight like that, bro. Because this shit out of line. This shit, like, it really needs to stop. For real. Yep, we got marriage. So, marriage. And we got something that's going to change. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Unexpected changes, financial disaster, bankruptcy, bankruptcy and losses, huge losses. So um, if she choose not to cooperate with the industry and at least they got something for her ass, they're going to put her ass out in the cold. She ain't got no family, okay? No money, no career, no nothing when they don't work. That's just how they look. You, that's how they do you. They use you and leave you to rot and dry. That's it. After they didn't use you for what they needed you for. All the people in the industry that have sold out or most of the industry ain't nothing but life insurance policies. Okay, you come here, you do your best work, and then boom. You die and money goes out. Music still plays. People still making money off of your material things, your music. It's just, that's it. But we got lack of balance, lack of organization, and poor financial decisions. So when it comes to money, she is careless, okay, because she ain't never had much. So she, I'm guessing she don't know what the fuck to do with it is the energy I'm picking up on. All right, we got shattered dreams, nightmares, unhappiness, devastation, misery, and lack of wish fulfillment. So she's happy. She's pissed off because... She's realizing that her wishes, wishes, her wishes are still not coming true like they should be. Okay, her abundance, her success, her achievements, all that is not coming in like she's like it should be. Okay, she's not confident in the decisions that she's made and the choices, the poor choices that she has made. And she's gonna continue to have nightmares. So gonna be tor tormented mentally. She's gonna be fucked up. Can't sleep. Okay, anxiety, fear, stress, depression. You feel what I'm saying? 
because the things that you've done, now you're miserable and you want to project and it's not going to work out, okay? All the devastated things that you have done, okay, that that's due to your decisions. So you got to sit with that and live with the poor choices that you've made, okay? There is nothing, you can't go back and undo life, all right? We got, uh, yeah, you can't. And then another thing, remember I was telling y'all, sleeping with a lot of people, I'm going to pull this one card and I'm going to move on up out of here. I've been here long enough. Okay, so we got Knight of Cups. Remember I was trying to tell y'all that she broke a lot of hearts or, or a lot of people broke her heart and, you know, a lot of sleeping around, being passed around in the industry. We got unrequited love, heartbreaker, manipulator, and one night stand and cheating. Okay? But anywho, that is the end of this stream reading. I am done. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. I'm at.